Okay, hi everyone. So, you guys asked and I answered. We are back with some more chair mobility. So, all the moves today, you actually won't be sitting in the chair, you're going to be standing next to the chair. So, you're going to need a chair that's not going to be rolling around a lot because it's going to have to kind of be steady in place. Uh, so we're going to do a few different uh, leg stretches as well as a few different shoulder stretches. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is a variation on pigeon. Um, so basically what you're going to do is take your leg and um, place the shin and the upper thigh right on top of the chair. Um, it's just basically a standing version of a pigeon, just a little bit more elevated. Now you want to make sure that your thigh is facing forward and that your hips are squared off, that they don't kind of turn out to the side to get the most benefit from the stretch. And then you can really use the back of the chair as well as the uh, uh, base of the chair here to kind of help guide yourself down to the stretch. So you want to start with a flat back and then you want to fold over rather than kind of rounding out on this stretch here. And this is really good for getting that outside of the hip. It's definitely a lot more of an accessible version of pigeon, um, especially if you really don't want to be on the floor while you're at work, let's say. Um, it's also kind of a little bit different of a variation to try out if you have a chair. You can even do this on a box at the gym as well. And then we'll switch sides. So you can hold this for about 30 seconds to a minute on each side. So again, making sure that thigh is facing forward and that the hips are squared off so that you're really feeling that stretch in the outer hip. And then starting with that flat back, so you want to make sure you pull those shoulder blades back, lead forward with the belly button and the chest first. So try these couple different uh, pigeon variations. Now the next one we're going to do is a hamstring stretch. So this is, again is going to be a little bit more accessible for you to get a little bit of a stretch in the hamstring um, instead of let's say being on the floor because now you actually have let's say the back of a chair to actually hold yourself. So you're going to just place your heel on the top of the chair and now to really get the most benefit from the stretch you're going to lock that heel in place so keep that heel in the same spot you're going to take your entire leg and tailbone and drag it backwards okay so i want you to drag everything backwards but keep your heel locked in the same spot start with the flat back so pull those shoulder blades back bring your chest forward and then uh fold right over to, uh, on top of that thigh and again by having kind of the back of the chair here it makes it a little bit easier for you to just get into this hamstring stretch so doing that runner stretch on the floor isn't necessarily for you having a chair handy nearby is actually a really good option also gets you like kind of standing up too just a little bit so we'll switch sides. So again, you're going to lock the heel in place and then take that entire leg, drag it backwards as you start with a flat back, and then fold right over that hamstring. And actually, you can get a little bit more variation in this hamstring stretch by simply tilting your foot to one side or another and then tilting your body in the opposite direction. So what I'm going to do is tilt my foot out over to the right as I actually bend and twist over to the left. And that's going to give me a little bit more of kind of an inner groin stretch right there. So again, tilt the foot to the outside. It's kind of like doing a little bit of a rainbow stretch here with this hamstring. So tilt it to the outside. And again, keeping that flat back, dragging that leg backwards constantly. And you can also tilt the foot to the inside. So I'm going to take my foot inside and actually turn myself away. Um, and, and get a really good stretch on uh, kind of near the outside of the thigh too. And you get in all different parts of the hamstrings by doing this. So make sure that your foot isn't always just pointed, flexed straight up, but you also want to turn it to the side as well and, and kind of go in the opposite direction. Lastly, just make sure that those to toes are pointed straight up. I know I forgot to mention that at the start, but you don't want to just kind of point the toes outwards. Flex the foot as you're doing these. So lock the heel, flex the foot, drag the leg back, and then do it to a couple different sides. Um, next, we're going to target the hip flexors. So these, uh, if you have really tight psoas or you feel like you get a lot of tightness, a lot of soreness right in this area, um, now you are going to be working your quads and your legs just a little bit. So um, in order to help, you can have a table or some kind of desk nearby. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to place the top of my foot here on the edge of the chair, and I'm going to step my foot forward enough. This is like that Bulgarian split squat kind of variation. This is why your legs are going to be working. Um, so I'm going to bring my front foot forward enough so I can get down deeper into this lunge. So I'm aiming for like a 90 degree angle. And then what's going to happen is this back leg's going to stretch. Now right here, I'm not feeling anything yet. So what I need to do to really make sure that I feel this stretch is to take my tailbone and glutes, squeeze them, and tuck 
it under. So take the tailbone, take your hips, and I want you to tuck it underneath. Okay, so can you see how like before my butt's sticking out, now I'm gonna squeeze, tuck under, and now I'm really feeling a lot of stretch in here. Now you wanna make sure you stretch your whole chest tall, don't just lean over, but uh, stretch tall, tuck that tailbone under, and there's a really good stretch you're gonna feel right in this hip here. And the lower I sink down, the more I'm gonna feel that stretch. Um, again, having a table or something nearby to hold on is a good idea, because um, otherwise your legs are gonna be firing. I mean, it's a really good way to get the blood flowing in your legs throughout the day. Um, but just in case you don't want to put in that much effort and you want to save that for the wall balls later on today, yeah, there you go. And then we'll switch sides. So the top of the foot on top of the chair and scoot that front foot out just enough where I can uh, kind of lunge down and forward, having something nearby. And then again, I'm going to stretch tall, take my tailbone and tuck it under. Okay. So tailbone is being tucked under. And really good stretch kind of right through this area right here. My legs are on fire right now, but it feels good. <sighs> yeah. Alright, so now let's do a couple of different shoulder stretches. So we're going to start by grabbing the chair, the back of the chair handle. Um, I mean, I don't know how high your chair is, but any height should be basically fine for this. And then basically I'm going to uh, turn away from the chair and um, really kind of press my chest away from that chair as I'm pushing back on the chair. So I'm getting a really good front of the shoulder stretch right here um, while doing this twist. And this is why it's really important to not have a chair that's like rolling around as long as it's locked in place. So really push that chair away from you as you pull your chest and kind of peel it away. Now what also is going to help with this stretch here too, is that when you grab the chair, I want you to think about twisting your arm outward, so instead of having your shoulder in, so right as you grab the chair, take that elbow and that bicep, I want you to turn it out to the ceiling, and then twist into the stretch. And you should feel a lot more um, kind of in the front of the shoulder here, really good chest opener, really good if you did a lot of push-ups yesterday. All right. And then the last stretch that we're going to do is a little bit more of an upper back. So you can grab the top of the chair or the sides of the chair. And basically what you're going to do is step away from the chair. And it's really similar to that PVC pipe one. You're going to take the chair, you're going to take your head and shoulders and chest and press it right through that window. Now as you're doing this, I want you to push the chair away from you without you know, actually pushing it away. So I want you to put pressure on your hands against the chair as you take your tailbone and hips and fire those in the other direction. So you're going to find as much length as possible. So you're going to push without actually pushing the chair and push the tailbone behind. And then you want to push your chest and your head through that window. So again, reaching towards the chair and then reach your tailbone in the backwards direction. And you're going to feel a really good stretch here. So I hope you have some time to try these out with the chair. Um, so it's time to get out of that chair, get stretching, get mobilizing.